The Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission MAC is still working with international agencies to bring back a son-in-law of former Prime Minister Tan Sri Mohidin Yassin for a corruption case here. Said Tan Sri Ozem Boki. The MAC chief said that while it was possible to charge Datuk Seri Muhammad Adlan Buran in absentia, this would only be done when all other options were exhausted. We are actively coordinating with international authorities to locate him. Indeed, we have now issued a notice against him. We can still decide to charge in absentia, but that will be the last option. I'm saying that because I believe he can still return to Malaysia to face the charges, he told reporters after the launch of the National Anti-Corruption Summit 2024 at Berjaya Times Square Hotel. Kuala Lumpur here, today. On February 22nd, Ozem said that Muhammad Adlan would be charged with several counts of criminal breach of trust CBT. He said that investigations on Mohidin's son-in-law was complete and Mac was waiting to charge Muhammad Adlan upon his return. On August 9th, lawyer Datuk Dr. Boljit Singh Sidhu denied his client, Muhammad Adlan, had fled the country to escape action, but rather exited legally and has yet to be charged with a crime.